I'm Doug Caldwell with the University of Florida, Collier County Extension. I'm a landscape entomologist. An entomologist is somebody that loves to study bugs, learn what kind of damage they do, and how to manage them to prevent the damage. Some people call me Dr. Doug Bug. Lately, I've been getting a lot of calls at the office about sooty mold on coconut palms. Usually we get calls about sooty mold on shrubs. So what's going on? Upon closer inspection, we see the white, waxy, circular trails of a new pest in town. This is called the rugose spiraling whitefly. Here's the surefire giveaway clue that you've got rugose spiraling whitefly. Note these patterns or traces. You've, you've got trails made by the adult female as she's depositing eggs and wax along with the eggs in these concentric rings or spirals. Also, very large white flies. Rugose spiraling white fly. That's a strange name. It's called rugose because it has a wrinkled honeydew flipper. Rugose means wrinkled, and it flips the honeydew away from itself onto its neighbors. Spiraling indicates the egg tracks. It looks like they've been sucking on some uh, fermented coconut sap, doesn't it? The main problem with this new white fly is the huge amounts of sooty mold that it creates. It's not plant damage so much, but the sooty mold which collects on the leaves, it also collects on the trunk, it collects on the ground, anything that's on the ground, whether it's your pool and I, your pool, or your nice new boat. So let's take a little closer look here. Look at all this black stuff. What is it? It's called sooty mold, and it means you have an insect infestation. Take a closer look at your plants. And in this case, we're talking about the rugose spiraling white fly. It's a sucking insect. It's squirting out a lot of extra liquids that have sugars that the fungus colonizes. So you've got the sticky residue, this honeydew, excreted by the white fly and then the spores of the sooty mold come in and it sporulates, germinates, just takes over everything. And this is the main issue with this bug, all this mess that it creates. The black sooty mold looks like a disease, but it's not. It blocks some photosynthesis, obviously, but it's not attacking the plant itself as such. What can we do about this? Well, there's a systemic insecticide that you apply to the ground. Systemic means it's picked up by the roots and moves through the plant's vascular pipelines up to the canopy and it's inside the plant. So it's only going to affect the bad bugs that feed on the plant. Spraying will kill all insects, lady beetles, other attack bugs, green lace wings, and with palm trees being tall and usually near water, it's not such a great idea to be spraying. And here's a little guy. This is a little attack bug, a lady beetle larva. So we know they're at work helping us. The systemic insecticides that work on this pest include Merit, which is called imidacloprid, as well as Safari, which is called Dinotefuran. These are the products the professionals use as a soil root drench to control the rugose spiraling whitefly. You can also use a trunk injection approach as well. Well, here's George Akers with Akers Family Pest Control. How you doing, Doug? Good to see you. What's going on? Well, you tell me you're out here facing this every day. How long has it been happening? Uh, since January. So the coconuts are getting infested with this new white fly in town. Are you seeing any trees dying from this? Do you think because no, we've had... No, not if you treat them. And what you should, the nice thing with the systemic is it only gets the bad bugs that are feeding on the plant. Right. It conserves your predators and parasites uh, that are wandering around up there on the foliage. So it's, it's best to use a, a soil drench where you're not going to get the lady beetles and green lacewings and those, right. those yeah. nice bugs that are eventually going to show up. So we can save these trees. Yes, they are saving them. The big deal is people get upset with all the sooty mold and the honeydew, sticky mess all, all over their right. lanai's and in the pool and on the boats. Uh, systemic 
insecticide is the best way to go. Definitely. Unless you're infested, which I hit a tree the other day and the sun was just right and it was like a cloud of, it was like it's snowing. It just went poof, a bunch of snow. Gumbo -like. limbos are, are, are the worst. So that brings up another good point. We, we can't control them. Well, actually, it's a bad point, but there's like 40 other hosts. Right. That uh, Gumbo Limbo, Bucida, Black Olive, and down the street I found them on Foxtail Palms and Royal Palms. That ain't good. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Thanks see for stopping by, George. Good to we'll see, see you. If your coconut trees have been treated with a systemic soil drench, that systemic may move up into the fruit or the coconuts. So you don't want to eat the coconuts or or drink the coconut milk. It could be contaminated. Darn. You've learned how to identify the Rugo spiraling whitefly by all the sooty mold and the spiraling tracks it leaves behind, as well as how to treat it and not get all that mess in your backyard or on your boat. This is Doug Caldwell, Dr. Doug Bug, helping you to beautify your landscape and protect the environment.